welcome to my channel right now you are in the right place thank you for coming back to my channel and if this is your first time welcome karibu sana i normally share with you some resin art and other things about my life if you check my channel you'll see several playlists of the different things that i do today i'm sharing with you this exciting beach wave cheese board on a slate so a beach wave on a slate a beach wave on a black slate i've not done this beach on a slate before normally i if you check my instagram and tiktok at juliet may go inspire you will see i've done boards that have had a back background you know i've uh, either painted the board or no in fact the one that is out there is a lazy susie that we had it in black and then we put some beautiful colors on it check that out i have not done a bit and i'm excited to see how this turns out and for that we are going to use this may spring turquoise blue we are going to use uh, the may spring tropical blue also i say so greenish blue and for the waves we're going to use the casting crown it's a white pigment a very concentrated one we have some stones to just give the illusion of some stones and some some shells and I hope you find this valuable and if you do please remember to subscribe and press the notification bell so that you don't miss out on future videos and let me know in the comment section what you think about this this creation the other reason why it's good for you to follow me at Juliet Migu inspires on TikTok and on instagram is because for example i'm making two of these the one i'm showing you on youtube is the one i'm doing along a beach along but the other one i'm doing a different design on it and to see that one check them out on my other accounts all right so you always have to make sure that your piece is level you know like this you see it's level so whatever you put under make sure it's level so that when you put the resin it's not pouring to one side all right and so after this there's not too much more we're doing because this time we are not painting on this because we want also the beauty of the black to come out under the waves so we are not you know it's going to be like a black beach so we are not coloring under so that uh we see the ocean color so we're seeing the ocean colors over the beach it's like at the residing you know at the beginning at the residing part of the beach all right not deep 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 where sometimes you can't see under after this all we need to do is put the latex then mix our resin and then proceed with the creation so keep watching this is the latex i'm using the creature liquid latex that's what i found in my market if you know a more affordable one please let me know below we begin by laying on latex at the edges so that we protect the back from getting resin and I'll show you how much easier it makes I know people some people use glue but right now this is what I have latex and it has worked well for me or you can also tape but because this is slate and it is not smooth I didn't want to risk using tape because I didn't know if it will because of the grooves I don't want uh, resin to seep and uh, so I just put a layer and I extend it in a little because sometimes when resin flows it drips and maybe forms somewhere here it doesn't form at the, at the, at the end edges
it has cured and now we just need to remove this latex that we put and we see how easy it makes life so this unless there's bits at the edges that is connected to the side this should be nice and easy and then i'll just show you a close-up reveal at the end uh, i think one of the things i've noticed i need to do is make the white pigment for the beach thicker so pour it not too thin pour it thicker so that when uh i blow out the wave it goes further and still stays for lacing and also still we have a nice border at the edge every time you do something you learn something new and if you like this and find it valuable please remember to subscribe and press the notification bell and also follow me for the other one to see the other one on instagram and tiktok at Juliet Negri Inspires. Let's do this. Oh, look at that. Because I've done several layers, it means uh, the resin is a little harder now. So let's see. I know it will come out, but I don't want it to, to rip this side. I'll continue doing this. Uh, it will take a little time because I have to do it slowly, slowly. It's worth the slowness compared to having damage. If it's wood, it's easy to, you just sand. See when heated, they're just coming off. At least I found. But even, but even with wood, I prefer not to sand. So if I can do less work, and it also means you're doing on the board, unless it's a board that you cut yourself. If it's a board that is you bought and you're working on then you don't want to have to sand it down much so that you keep the already finished aesthetics from the manufacturer. Now comes the fun part. See how easy that is. This one here. Look at that. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. So now the tea, this little cleanup is not much. And the reason I prefer to use latex in instead of tape is that sometimes tape is not waterproof. So it's not tight. So the glue or glue proof, let me say, or resin proof. So the glue sometimes seeps in and so even though we have a barrier you can see marks on the board even after you know and so I, that's why I prefer when I can to use uh, to use latex but when I'm doing the board the tape to on the side I prefer the tape compared to latex and you can check out my previous posts in on my on like lazy Susie boards on my playlist god bless you barakatella we'll see you on my next video please stay on to see how it really looks when it's totally done